Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And it's a decent sized one as well. Oh, I was like, where did this come from? Not Dollar Tree. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I'll put it over here. There's some stuff in here I think I was measuring. All right, so let's get into it. Oh, that's what I was measuring. I got some foam. I'm going to, I ordered some faux flowers. I'm gonna stuff it in here, stuff the flowers and hang this on my front door for my fall wreath. And I needed some foam. So I grabbed two, two uh, bricks of floral foam. Exciting, I know. All right, and then I grabbed this, these fake books. I think I'm gonna bring them into the office and stand them on top of my filing cabinet. I wanna decorate for fall, so I started getting some little things. Um, for my car, tissues, but I thought these were fun. I've never seen these before. The brand is Smart Care, cup holder compatible, three ply, 40 count. I don't know, Dollar Tree. Okay, oh, I'm supposed to say, hi, Carol. Carol is my, one of my, um, colleagues that she left me hope you're proud of yourself carol um i grabbed this candy dish and when i actually use these for i'm not gonna get it open it's they find yeah i will they finally sealed them so the lids don't break i use these for my cross stitching for my ort jars orts are just like the little cast off threads at the end and i switch it out by season i sometimes most of the time um so yeah, I got an egg corn this for fall. And it just sits next to my chair and I take the lid off and I put my little cast off threads in there so they don't end up all over my floor. Um, they had this in, I think a pumpkin, an orange, a white, and then this egg corn, but I like the egg corn. So I got that. Then I found some OPI little nail polishes. These are like the little minis, that's a top coat. I don't know what the color is because you can't see it or it doesn't say. It's like a burgundy raisin. And then I got this one with like a mint. Yeah, they just need to be mixed up. It's like a mint green and then that same red. These are great stocking stuffers. Thumbnail. These are good stocking stuffers, which is what I bought them for. I have to start. Well, actually, these are for Advent. Um... I want to see what that minty color. Yes, it's like a minty green. But these are perfect little um, stocking stuffer, advent filler stuff. That's what I got it for. Um, I'm I'm obsessed, 100% obsessed right now with jewelry making, not making jewelry charms. So I grabbed these little finding kits because they're perfect for what I need. They have some jump rings, some lobster claws, a little bit of a couple gold beads, and then some chaining. And what I'm hanging charms from is like lip gloss and things. So this is perfect. I don't need a whole big kit. And I like to put lobster claws. So I grabbed two of these and that is exactly what I needed. Um, they did come back out with the pumpkins shapes. I was hoping for a third and I'll keep my eye out for them, but I found two. The one thing is you're gonna have to do some sanding, I think. But these are fun shapes. These make good coaster size. Um, I was actually thinking of making like a little stand, if I could find a third shape or not, just do the two. But, so I found, I just got one of each. I gotta stop buying 10 of everything as I'm pulling out two of. I just thought these were unique. I don't know that I've seen these. I don't remember having seen these last year, but I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying I don't remember. I just think it's super unique, like something very different. Now, if it loses its shape, you do need to like give it a good squeeze. But I thought they were fun. I love this blue and then the green. I'm hoping they have it like in an orange or something. You can even put a little tea light in here. Not real tea light, a fake tea light. But I love a caged look. So I grabbed, oh, let me hold still. 
just pumpkins with the open beads. And then at this Dollar Tree that I was at had some new stuff that I hadn't seen. This is interesting. It's a cross stitch kit. You know, I love my cross stitch. I probably won't do this, but I'll give it away. But it's got a pattern for a gummy bear, a candy, and a lollipop. I just thought that was super fun. And I think there's like trim and stuff. Oh no, it's printed. Okay, okay, okay. It's printed cross stitch, which is great for beginners. So the pattern is actually printed on the fabric and you just follow it. Super easy. So I grabbed one of those. And then I grabbed these two kits. I'm not sure if I'm making bracelets out of them or if, and they're the same, or if I wanted them for the charms, but either way, it's a fun little macrame bracelet kit. And it has everything you need, the beads, a charm, the cording and directions. Another fun stocking stuffer. For, if you have a young people that like to make this kind of stuff, these are great stocking stuffers because they're complete kits. Okay, ugh, ugh, ugh. oh, I do have some Dollar General to show you at the end. Okay, um, I found some more of these and you know I'm obsessed with them because I spill coffee on the regular. These are the stain wipes and I keep them in my purse. So I, I have used a lot and I give them away. I got some purple of this, um, chenille i was hoping for black for some halloween stuff but purple is going to come in handy too so i grabbed two of those if i see the black i will of course buy the black this is also new to me it's a another one of their crochet kits it's a succulent again super fun um it does come with a crochet hook mm, i'm gonna say you probably want to buy your own but it has the stuffing and the yarn and everything to make one succulent i would just get a new crochet hook which i mean they're they sell them there the metal ones are definitely gonna be better than that um i think i've purchased this before but i also can't find it so it's just a little sign but it's on wood but it can also be like take this off the staples out and then paint this and now you've got like a little display piece that's got the raw wood on the end and I like that and I have an idea if I can find one more piece that I need um for a DIY that I may do I came um these faux leather pumpkins they do have the lobster claw on it but I just wanted the pumpkins these are in an orangey brown and they're the fake leather and then this is new to me it is we're gonna open it it is makeup sponge three pack it is not it is not Dollar Tree so I'm not sure if everybody will get it it's true beauty products who puts it out the only reason that I bring up if it's a Dollar Tree product or not is because if it is a Greenbrier, true Greenbrier product, then every Dollar Tree should get them. If it's not a true Dollar Tree product, then I don't think all the Dollar Trees get them. At least that's my understanding, which <laughs> it's a three pack. There we go. It's taped on here. Good too. A three pack. I'm dying of face sponges, but I also use these for painting. But you open it up. I need to do this. Let me fix it. I want to show it to you correctly. Like. So that stands up here. And you have them and then the top goes down keeps them in place, but when you need them, wash them, do whatever, and then you can leave them on like that to dry. I love it. And then when they're no good, this is a great little storage container for crafty bits or makeup or whatever, because this is decent quality plastic. I mean, it and then this piece here just comes out which I thought was pretty darn nifty. If you ask me, friends, oops. Okay, let me put these away and stop messing around with the makeup sponges. But I just wanted to show you because I think they're fantastic. 
So we got that. Um, that's it. Okay, now we got one more bag. I picked up in the five dollar spot spot a new um, bath mat. I mean, I just feel like five dollars is decent, and I tr tend to. I do wash them and stuff, but I think they also get kind of gross. So I, on occasion, you know, every like once a month, we'll replace it. So I feel like five dollars is a fair amount for a bath mat. And my tub gets extremely slippery, and I'm of that age where I don't need to be taking a fall. Right. Um, for a project, it may happen. It's a dupe from that I saw on the interwebs. And the rest of this stuff is for that. So it's a ghost, right? I saw this. It's a pottery barn dupe. So you would, can, I would attach these three pieces together to make it a little taller. So these are just foam balls and then cover it with one of these. And this is surged. Now, if I cut it, then we got a problem because I'm just gonna open it up. You didn't see that. But if we cut it, we're gonna get Sherpa everywhere. Like this fuzzy stuff is gonna go everywhere. But I feel like this is not big enough. So I may have to stitch them together or I can make a small one, but you can make a ghost. But I feel like these have shrunk because I remember crafting with these at Christmas time when they were much larger you could make a ghost but I could just seam it down the center even with like hot glue or something two pieces together yeah that's what we would do and make a ghost I don't know guys it was a thought okay that's all I got and then the last thing I picked up it was before I bought this before I went to the thrift store okay hello it's got a foam stuck in it I wanted a clear mug to make fancy coffee drinks that I can see, but apparently if I don't get this piece of plastic out of here, hold on. Okay, well, it's not coming out, but I'll get it out. Um, to, that I could see my drink, my fancy coffee drinks in with maybe a little adult beverage. I know. So my thought was, well, if I can see through it, how fun. But I ended up, oh, here. I ended up buying at the thrift antique store, really. It wasn't a thrift store. It was an antique mall. So it was one of those stores that you go in, and then there's all these different um, little areas. And I bought this beforehand. But it's fine. I'll use it. It's a coffee cup. I'll use it. And that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree. So if you want to see what I picked up at... Dollar General, stick around. Now, here's my thing about Dollar General. You, I get messages on top of messages and I see posts of people going into these fabulous Dollar Generals. Yeah, I don't have one of those. The two Dollar Generals by my house are disgusting. Like, so gross. You walk in, empty shelves, dirty boxes everywhere. It smells, it's just not a it's not nice. I don't know how they're still open, to be honest with you, yet they are. So I don't go in there very frequently, but I was, my nail broke. I was seeing on the TikTok these ghost buckets and I wanted one. So when we were going, I went to Coshocton, which is about an hour, 20 minutes from me. There was a couple dollar generals on the way, so we stopped. I didn't find what I was looking for, but I found some fun stuff. First and foremost, I got the Skittles because it has strawberry, wild cherry, berry punch, and raspberry. And I love these, and I just take them to work. So I have a drink. So I have drink water at work. Um, and then I didn't get many things, but I found I love these. If you've never used these, they're calling it, oh, it is. That's what they're calling it, a Swedish dishcloth. They're like a flap sponge, right? But they're reusable and reusable. I've had the same ones for months, year. I have one for a year. It gets wet. It's like a sponge. You clean your house, whatever. And then 
I throw it in the washing machine and when it comes out, it's clean and it's ready to go again. And they last much longer than like dish sponges. I love them. And I found a two pack for $3, which is actually pretty good if these are the good quality. But this one has Hello Fall, which we need. And then this one is Hello Fall, Gather Together, So Very Thankful. I mean, this is my jam. So I grabbed these. And then for just some fun, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this stuff, except for maybe for football. It's a, it's a football vase, it's not a vase. It's not a cup. I'm not sure what we're using it for. Um, but if you like entertain, you can put your plastic silverware in here. It can be a vase. You can just sit it around. It's super cute. It's just a plastic, could be a cup, I suppose, but I'm not drinking out of it because then I'd have to clean it. I just think it's super cute. So I grabbed that. I could put some uh, scarlet and gray something in there. And then speaking of, I want to paint this to look like a Buckeye's helmet. So I will need to, and this is just MDF wood. These were a dollar. Um, eat, sleep, football, repeat. I'll need to sand it down, paint it like a silver, some red striping, whatever. I don't know. Or do nothing with it. And then this would just stay like it is. And it just says home with the little football. And they were all $1. And I thought they were fun. And I didn't find what I was looking for, but that's okay. So I found some Dollaramas. I mean, Dollaramas. Dollar Generals are just far away that are clean. I and mean, these were really clean stores too, which is nice. Kudos to those stores. Curse you, my stores. All right, guys. That is everything I have this week for the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy. We have a cat meow meow and we have hocus pocus um i did see that the dollar tree in the five dollar spot has another black cat this year it's a square cat with ears and then i saw a black cat like this at home goods tj maxx marshall's home goods one of those um but i think it's a girl i don't know it looks like a girl to me but it doesn't matter I wasn't going to buy it because I have one, but pink in the ears, whiskers, the whole shebang. I have to keep this one because it's my Wellington and he has white whiskers. And so we have, oh, I need to take the lint roller to that because they lay up there. All right, guys, that is everything I got. I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye.